Hello, welcome to another video by LSX Engines, Tuning, and Marine. In this video, I'm going to install a install an LS oil pump. Um, the part number, I believe, is uh, it's, it's a uh, Melling M295. If that's wrong, I'll correct it in the comments, but I believe that's what it is. So, this is the oil pump, and um, if you'll notice, well, first of all. The engine's upside down, so this now the pump's upside down to match. So, first of all, you notice the gear in here moves all over the place. This this is a it's called a, a gyrator pump, I believe. I think that's the name for it, name for it. But this gear here rides inside another gear, and the way they mesh moves oil from the inlet, which is um, the inlet's right here. My finger, the oil comes in there, and it comes out right here, and that port right there. So. Anyway, it moves from here over, from here over to here as the thing turns. So if you look at these gears in here, this is the internal gear. You can barely, you can kind of see the way it's cut out right in there. There's a gap there and a gap right there. But that, those gaps mesh with another gear in here, then they turn and that's how it, moves, it pumps. So the internal gear, the bigger gear, is rotates inside a machine cavity in this oil pump. So it, stay, it stays concentric where it's at. This gear rides inside that gear wherever it wants to. And by, what I mean by that is that the dynamic forces and pressures of the oil will make this, this piece here, this inner gear, ride inside the other gear wherever it, the, the forces push it, wherever the oil forces, dynamic forces push it as it's rotating. So when you put it on the uh, engine, this gear is going to, like I said, is going to go to wherever it needs to. So there's no need to adjust this oil pump when you put it on this engine. You just put it on and go. So the reason I'm talking about this is there's a lot of videos on the internet where people are shimming this oil pump. They put shims here, they put in a triangular fashion a shim here and a shim here and a shim here to center this gear on this crank on this crank uh, crankshaft. Uh, I'm gonna call that a gear, it's sort of a flat uh, a tube gear, I guess you call it. But they center this piece here on that and then they bolt it down well that's a colossal waste of time because for one thing gm wouldn't design something that required a meticulous process of shimming to get this oil pump right for another it's obvious that this gear is going to move to wherever it wherever the the pressure put it so when you bolt it when you set it on here bolt it on it you're done there's no need to shim it. so i'm going to go ahead and put this i'm going to uh, stop the camera put this oil pump on there and then show you what i mean but before, before I do that, notice this inner gear here does not hit, the, this plate is bolted on the outside. This inner gear can go wherever it wants to inside that plate. See, it's kind of, it's moving all around. So it's moving, it can move. There's no, there's no uh, edge or face on this inner, this, this gear here that can be, that can hit this plate. It, everything is behind it. And it's machined to be right behind that plate. That's normal. So, a lot of people are saying, well, this something something on this pump hits the crankshaft, or this gear hits this plate when it's not shim proper. And I'm going to show you in just a second how that's impossible. All right, I now have the oil pump installed, and I've got the bolts just started but not tightened at all. So I can move this oil pump around, but it doesn't move very much. It's, it's pretty much where it is, and it's not going to move very far. But if you look in here, the, the gear that's mounted on the crankshaft does stick out a little bit past that gear. But you can see, no matter where I put this oil pump, that gear does not touch this, doesn't touch the outer plate of this oil pump. So I'm looking all the way around. No matter where I put this oil pump, then, like I say, it doesn't move very much at all anywhere as far as the play in it. But no matter where I put it, it's not hitting this piece right here. It's not hitting it at all. And obviously, already like I've already said, the inner plate, the inner gear inside the oil pump doesn't uh, doesn't hit this plate either. So there's nothing that I can adjust, and nothing I need to adjust for any part of this crankshaft to avoid hitting this plate. So it's on, and there's no, there's really not a whole lot of adjustment. And that internal gear will ride on that crankshaft, and like I say, that's a pretty good fit too. You can see how it's fitting, fitting all the way around. that uh, inner gear is going to ride on that crankshaft wherever it needs to and is, like I said it's not going to move very far anyway in order for the, the dynamic forces of oil to, to put it in the right place. 
So this is, a, there's no need to do any shimming or adjustment of this oil pump. You just, I'm just about to tighten these four bolts and go with it. And the people who are saying you need to shim this oil pump are, are just wasting their time. And uh, this is uh, my personal engine. If, if Believe me, if, if it was required to be done, I would do it. But I'm also not going to waste time doing something that's totally unnecessary. So uh, that's my take on LS oil pumps. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel if you find this useful.